G'day, it's Christine here from Chris W Designs and today I'd like to introduce you to the Workman's Wallet. Woohoo! And so this is our Workman's Wallet. Inside you can see we have a, an ID pocket. So that goes in there. And under the ID pocket the top we have another slip pocket directly behind the ID pocket you can put a credit card in there or several credit cards or some receipts whatever you need to put in there and there's three credit card slots here at the front and under here is a slip pocket and on this side we have our coin pocket and there we go you can see inside the coin pocket has a little gusset on the side to give it that bit extra room so it's not flat and there's also a slip pocket under there so you've got plenty of little hidey holes where you can stash some cash <laughs> or at the back here we have our notes pocket where you can stash a big wad of notes so there this project is a raw edge project so that means you need to use something that does not fray where the edges won't fray on you um, cork, leather, vinyl, edge coating is optional. I'm going to edge coat mine. I haven't done that yet, but and I'll do a video on that to show how I do it. It is designed for men, however, you can use it for yourself if you wish, if you're not a man. <laughs> These are a ton of fun to make. They whip up quickly, don't need a lot of supplies. It takes very little time to make these, um, especially if you use a fast drying glue. It um, they whip up in no time at all. I like to cut mine with a, with a cutting machine. So I've provided SVG files for this wallet. That'll even speed up the process even more and it'll give you nice, neat results. However, you do not need to use a cutting machine. You can always cut it out by hand. And if you are not into social media, do email me a photo or two and with your permission I will share them in my newsletter it's always lots of fun to see what everyone else is doing and that's the best part for me to see what you're doing with my patent so yeah so let's get started it's time to get on with it so don't pay too much attention to the mess that's on my bench behind the sewing machine and to the side <laughs> But this wallet is going to be stitched on this Elmer here and we will see how it goes. So there's just a couple of points to talk about with your wallet. You may wish to add a label if you do want to do that. I suggest you add the label before you glue your two exterior pieces together. I do also suggest that you try and keep your pieces as evenly glued together as possible just for a really neat finish um, if you do have any pieces sticking out I do recommend that you just get a rotary cutter and trim it even if you have a fuzzy cork you can use a lighter just to go around the edges to get rid of some of that fuzz and if you're not going to edge coat I do suggest at the very least perhaps adding a little bit of glue around the edges that will just help with wear and stop any more fuzzy bits coming, especially with your corks. And you can do that also with the edges of your pieces. And probably a good idea to do that before you assemble your wallet. It'll just make it a lot easier. So I'm going to edge coat these. And if you like, I will do another video and show you how I do that. And with this one, I made a boo-boo. I forgot to turn the video on and I stitched all these edges here without the um, camera turned on. So I unpicked it just so I could show you how to stitch that. But surprisingly, most of the stitches ended up back in the right hole. <laughs> and it doesn't even look too bad. Nobody will know if I don't tell them. So there we have it. Let's get started and I'll show you how to make the workman's wallet. So for the workman's wallet, this is a raw edge project, so you're going to need 
cork, vinyl, leather, something like that. Anything where your edges won't fray because as you can see the edges are raw. So from your chosen cork, vinyl, leather or whatever you're going to use with a raw edge we need to cut two exterior panels one two and interior panel A cut one the part with the cut out at the bot is at the bottom so just bear that in mind when you're constructing but I will remind you along the way. We need to cut one gusset piece, one coin pocket. You can poke or punch a hole where indicated there. And the same with the flap. We need to cut one flap. That's the flap outer. There's also a flap inner, which you need to cut one. And those are our snap holes. We need an ID pocket panel C, one off. A coin pocket snap support, one. A card slot D, one off. A slip pocket, one off. Interior panel B, we need two of those. ID pocket window, we need one. So you need to cut that part out. This is where the scan and cut comes in really handy. <laughs> Card slot C, we need two of those. We need an ID pocket window, number two, because this one's called ID pocket window one. ID pocket window two, cut one of clear vinyl. And this is a interior panel B card slots layout guide. We don't cut anything from this. We're just going to use it to mark the positions of our card slots onto our interior panel B but I will show you how to do that as we make the wallet. So for this wallet you'll need a snap closure for your coin pocket. Um, this one here is a metal one. You can also use a cam snap if you don't have a metal one Then you'll need tools for setting your snap. Um, I have die that go into my rivet hand press so that's what I use to set mine. Makes it really easy but you can use him hand tools for most snaps. Some snaps come with the hand tools included. Anyway, um, now the button flat bit, <laughs> the flat button bit there goes into your flap. Those pieces will be glued together and the button piece will go on this side and the closure piece will go on the back there like that. For the coin pocket you have a support piece which will be glued onto the back there and that's where your little, I don't know what that piece is called but that knobbly bit for the closure goes on that side and this bit at the back of your coin pocket. So that gets installed in there but I'll work you through that when it comes to the time in the pattern. You'll need some glue. I use a quick dry fabric adhesive. It's permanent fabric adhesive. I like the quick dry glue so it speeds up the construction of the wallet. If you use something that takes 24 hours to dry it'll really slow the process down. Um, with this quick one here it takes about 10 minutes and I can stitch right through it so that's really good and makes it a lot faster. So I recommend gluing you do not have to glue but if you don't glue then in time the edges around your wallet will start to separate and look shabby mm. because the stitching will not hold the edges shut right around the perimeter of your wallet <laughs> so yeah I do recommend gluing and I do recommend a quick dry fabric glue which is permanent there's lots of different brands. Doesn't really matter what brand you use. This is just the one that I have available to me. So yeah, there we go. Let's get started. Okay, so cover your work table with some paper or something to protect the surface in case you get glue on it. If you're anything like me, I'm a bit messy with my glue. <laughs> I also keep a tissue handy so I can just wipe the nozzle sometimes. So we need to grab our exterior panels, our pocket 
ID pocket window and ID pocket window to vinyl and our coin pocket and coins pocket support and our gusset piece and our flap inner and flap outer so we will start with our exterior panel just flip it over this glue only needs to be applied to one side only some glues you may need to put on both sides but usually these quick dry fabric glues only need glue on one side so we're just going to run a bead of glue well pref preferably not over the edge like I have and then just grab your other piece your other exterior panel piece and line it up and stick it down now try to get the edges absolutely as even as possible because it will get a, definitely get a nicer finish if you have your edges even so take a little time to make sure that they are even and you can smooth it out with your hands or if you have one of these things you can press it down make sure it's all glued nice and firmly let's double check those edges are even sorry if my head's getting in the road and I like to stick something on top to weigh it down just to keep it like that so we need to glue our flap outer and our flap inner together as I've used the scan and cut to cut mine and my holes are already in there so I just need to apply some glue around the edge as before to flatten it out glue pot <laughs> Like that, you don't need a heap of glue. You just want to keep those edges together. The stitching will hold it firmly, but the glue will make the edges stay together nicely so that they don't come apart and look ugly later on. So just make sure you line up those edges nice and firm. Stick it under there as well. And now we'll just grab our point coin pocket piece and our snap support piece. Now we're going to add a little bit more glue on this one because there won't be any stitching to hold it. So I'm going to put a strip about one centimeter wide all the way around the edge. level with the top edge and I've got my holes to center that so I can get it right but otherwise if you don't have your holes you're just going to center it left to right and top edges up the top here need to be even press that in place and grab your gusset now what we're going to do is we're going to be gluing that together there so <coughs> that edge side gets glued to the left side of your coin pocket so I'm just going to run some glue down here this is just your three millimeter one eighth of an inch strip just going to use this to make sure it's nice along there right to the edge I've gone a little bit more than one million three millimeters there but that won't matter 
and now we're just going to place this the edges down line up those edges because this is not even and flat I'm just going to put some clips on here to hold that in place while it dries set that aside to dry now we need our ID pocket window and our clear vinyl piece so with this I'm just going to grab my glue again clean up that nozzle a bit and I'm just going to run a strip of glue around about the center of this all the way down here and in the center of that I'm not going to spread it out I'm just going to grab my vinyl I'm just going to center it left like top to bottom and place that vinyl just about at the edge so that it's just back slightly from the curve and slightly from the bottom end press in place and this is why you don't want to run the glue too close to the edges on this one because we don't want it squeezing out and going onto our vinyl so I've just put it down the center and then squished it into place don't use a ton of glue you don't need a ton of glue just a little bit and put that under there and we'll just let everything sit for a little while so now we need to retrieve our interior panel B card slots layout guide this thing here friction pen or fading marker and one interior panel B now what we need to do is just fold this paper along that yellow dotted line line that up there we're going to mark the position of the lower card slot and then fold it along the next line and do the same to mark the position of the next card slots like that set that aside and grab your glue and we're just going to run a little bit of glue along the line it doesn't need to be much just going to hold this card slots in place while we stitch just above each line grab your two card slot pieces and we're going to sit that right there on the line Let's press into place grab the second one and position it and we want those edges to be just underneath the other one like that press so now we'll just grab these out from under here pop that under there so that can sit and dry for a few minutes get these clips off it does leave a little bit of mark on the cork but that comes out after a little while like that so now what we're going to do is grab our ID pocket and we're going to go over to the sewing machine and we're going to stitch around this middle window. So now I'm going to stitch around my ID pocket window.
like that. Now I notice that my stitching has gone very small in places and I think maybe I didn't allow enough time for the glue to dry. So that's just something to bear in mind. Make sure the glue is properly dry before you stitch. So now we need to retrieve our ID pocket panel C and we're going to glue this onto the bottom there like that. So grab your glue and add some glue. I'm just going to glue that. Oh, I've got a bit of mess on there. <laughs> Went this way. Try and line up those edges as best you can. Those raw edges even. Retrieve your slip pocket. Now we're going to glue that one onto the back of this, but you've got to make sure that your opening is on the same side. Trying to get all those edges even. Make sure that those line up there because you're going to be stitching them through all layers to get fasten them on here. So we're going to be running stitches down there, down here and down here. So I just want all those edges nice and even. Now I'm just going to leave that to dry. Now with this, we'll continue with this one. We're just going to go over to the sewing machine and top stitch there and top stitch there to fasten them onto our panel. So now we're stitching approximately three millimeters, one eighth of an inch from the edge of the bottom of our card slot. Second card slot. Just always back tacking just a little bit to fasten those stitches. So now with our card slot assembly, retrieve card slot D and we're just going to glue these two little side edges down first. So we just need to make sure those edges line up at the sides and that just needs to be sitting just below the top card slot like that and we'll just put a couple of clips on there to hold and now we're going to grab our card slot D and we're going to run some glue around those three edges So now we need to line these edges together. Just 
get them nice and even. Manipulate that around so that that just sits just below there. Let's see, just below there. We'll add some clips. Like that. Now we're just going to set that aside and let that dry. Retrieving your coin pocket gusset assembly. There's the gusset. We're going to top stitch down that edge there. Three millimeters, one eighth of an inch from the edge. Okay, so now we're top stitching down the side of the gusset edge there. Three millimeters, one eighth of an inch from the edge. Locking my stitches. Like that. So next up we need to install our snap into our queen pocket. So I'm grabbing my thingy bob. <laughs> now I need to just swap it over and put the other piece in. So this one holds the little knobbly bit. And that bit goes on there. And now we put this on here and Bob's your uncle. There we have our little knobbly bit installed into our coin pocket. So retrieve your other interior panel B piece and we're going to attach our coin pocket onto there so basically it's going to look like that. So we need to put some glue around these edges, the side of the coin pocket, the bottom of the coin pocket, the bottom of the gusset, and the side edge of the gusset. Like that. Now we're going to grab that, place it on here, get those edges even, and the same with this other side, and the bottom. Just line up those edges, start by clipping this to hold get one over here get that edge even Now I'll just put that aside to dry for a bit. Now retrieve your flap assembly and we're going to go over to the sewing machine and top stitch around those three sides, the two side edges and the bottom. So now I'm going to stitch around my flap. I'm going to stitch using a three millimeter, one eighth of an inch seam allowance. Okay, 
so now we need to install our other snap piece into our flap so I'll just get my press back again retrieve those other bits I should have just did the flap first <laughs> since the other pieces were already in my machine piece goes into here. There we go. And this button piece goes on the bottom part of my snap setter. So now we just grab our flat piece and the button which is on the bottom needs to go on this side so I need to turn that around, pop that in the machine and set it and there we have it okay so we're going to retrieve our coin pocket assembly probably should have had some clips there too but anyway now what we will do is draw a line one centimeter or three eighths of an inch from the top edge of the pa this is the panel with the coin pocket attached. This will help with our placement of our flap. Now we need to draw a line one centimetre down from the top edge of the flap on the wrong side. Like that. Now just snap your coin pocket into place and we're just going to bend that around. Just make sure it's nice and even. Bend that around and we going to mark where the sides of that coin pocket flap comes to. This is just going to help us with gluing and by doing this rather than measuring we are ensuring that our flap is going to be sitting straight just in case when you've installed your snap you didn't get it exactly in the middle. So which is easy done when it's not pre-cut holes like with the scan and cut <laughs> that's nice and accurate so now we just apply some glue and we're just going to stick our flap in place between those lines like that turn it over make sure it's sitting on the line everything's looking neat where it's supposed to be and just press firmly I'm just going to sit that aside so it can dry can't really put any weights on it or clips so if you just press it it'll be right so retrieve your ID window and now what we're going to do is we're going to top stitch around those three edges to secure both the slip pocket and the ID pocket window to your panel piece here. We shall do that now. So now I'm going to top stitch this into place three millimeters one eighth of an inch from the edge ID pocket window we've got that stitched into place and as you can see we've caught the slip pocket at the back as well we have it both opening from the same side like that okay so retrieving your card pocket assembly we're going to remove the clips 
Now we're going to top stitch from top to bottom down this right hand side here. Okay, so we're top stitching down this right hand side to secure your card pockets in place. So retrieve your ID pocket assembly and we're going to draw a one centimetre line down from the top edge here on the wrong side or slip pocket side. Like that. And we're going to add some glue. Grab your card pocket assembly. We're just going to center it left to right onto that line and press it into place. Like that. Just leave that sit for a few minutes. Oh, well, that's fine not really weighted down anyway so we won't worry about that <laughs> just press it hard so that it adheres well like that and I'll just give it a few minutes now retrieve your interior panel A Now what we're going to do is apply glue around the around this edge and this edge and on the back of that there and we're going to glue that into place on there. this down, match the edges together try and get those side edges aligned as good as you can we want them as even as possible now yeah, just Need to put some clips on here to hold it into place. Like that. Just top stitch this left hand side of my coin pocket. Just going to start at the bottom. Like that. Okay, so now that we have top stitched the side of our coin pocket, what we're going to do is glue it onto place on our assembly here. So I'm just going to add some glue onto the back of here, down this side, and across here. that and now line those edges up as neat and even as you can and add some 
lips. Need to just press this because we can't clip that. Like that. Now while that is drying, retrieve your exterior panel assembly. That's the one with the two exterior pieces glued together. And we're just going to top stitch three millimeters, one eighth of an inch from that top edge. So now we're going to top stitch the top edge of our exterior panel. Three millimeters, one eighth of an inch from the edge. So now that we have top stitched our top panel, the next thing we're going to do is glue this into place. But before we do that, we need to top stitch this piece here. So remove your clips. Now we're just going to go over to the sewing machine and we're going to top stitch all the way along that edge. So now we're just going to top stitch along this edge. Three millimeters, one eighth of an inch from the edge. Like that. So now that we have top stitched that seam there, we need to glue this to our exterior. So the top stitch is at the top there. And we'll start by gluing our card slots over onto this side. So we're just going to run some glue down here and along the bottom. Try and get those edges as even as you can. If any glue just oozes out, just wipe it off. And clip. like that. Now we're going to do the same with this. You notice it is shorter and that's normal because we're going to need to have ease at the backs. That's so that when you bend it around that there's room to do that. Room for all that wad of cash that this wallet's going to hold. <laughs> bring that up and match that top corner like that try and get those edges even stick a clip in there to hold that get this side even stick a clip there to hold that now this has got to all come together down here we want those edges even. Clip there to hold. Okay. 
like that. And now we need to leave that to dry so that we can complete our final stitching. Okay, so retrieve our glued assembly and we shall remove all the clips. And now we're going to go over to the sewing machine and we're going to top stitch down here and along here to the cutout and down here and along here to that cutout there. So those two side and bottom edges. Obviously we're not going to be top stitching in that gutter. <laughs> so if you notice all the little stitch marks or little holes around the edge of the wallet, that's because I sewed it once and forgot to turn the camera on. So I'm unpicked it all just so I can show you <laughs> me stitching it. So here we go again. I'm going to stitch using a seam allowance of three millimeters, one eighth of an inch. And I'm stitching all the way around to here. To the cutout, just do a few little back stitches there to secure it. Now I'm going to start on the other side of the cutout and work my way around to the other edge corner over here. Roots. And there we have oh, some more threads. <laughs> and there we have our wallet. All done. Except for the edge coat. That's optional, but I think it gives a nicer finish, so I'm going to edge coat this. There we go. So if you like this video, hit the subscribe button and click on that bell to be notified of any new videos as I add them. And hit the like button. To find this pattern and plenty more of my designs, go to www.chriswdesigns.com and for the Aussies, www.chriswdesigns.com.au Hit the like button!